Today I'm doing a story time about how I love working with my mom. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Marissa. I do a variety of diamond painting content. My favorite things to do is whip in chats of many different sorts of ran rambly life updates, opinions, story times. Whip means work in progress. This is my work in progress. The purpose of these is to either work alongside me and listen while I talk, use it as a podcast, or if you're just wanting something to listen to, to listen to or watch what I'm doing and the work that I'm doing on this. Let's talk about what I am working on. I am working on a canvas from Diamond Art Club. This one's called Seasons Changed. It is licensed by JoJo's Art. He's the artist. I started it on March 20th. And these are the specs. It's square. The size is 27 or 21.7 and 32.3. Let's jump into my story. I have another story time about how I started working when I was really young at 14. Well, by the time I was 19, I was willing to start, you know, new adventures. I wanted obviously more than one job. So I started working at the bar my mom used to work at. Now at the time, she wasn't working there anymore, but I knew everyone. She had worked there on and off for, I guess now it would be 25, 30 years on and off. Um, very, very, very close, you know, to these people. I've known them. So when I became of age, I uh, I was just like, hey, I want to try, you know, working here. I, 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 you know, I've been doing the same thing for a very long time. I've dabbled in other jobs too, of course, but like, I don't know. I, I grew up in this place. I already knew all the regulars. I felt comfortable and I knew obviously all of the managers and the employees and my mom wasn't working there at the time, but I don't know. It just seemed like a an opportunity. You know, she seemed to have liked her job and it just seemed like fun. So I started working there and loved it. I actually still work there every once in a while. If someone's like going out of town and whatnot, I will pick up the shift and just cover it and say hello. And it'll be like a guest bartending or guest serving. I am 32 now, so 13 to, or 13 whole, no, 19 to 32 and still off and on there. And a lot of people are still the same. It's a decent establishment, I, I, I like it. But I went like, I don't know, a year working there before my mom came back. It was kind of like a, a bunch of people, we had people graduating from college, I believe is what was happening. I don't really remember fully. There was a couple different reasons for people to leave, but my mom came to cover one of the empty spaces that had come from one of my friends graduating and moving on to bigger and better things. And that was one of the first times I ever worked with my mom. I was so excited. Most people would be like, oh, working with your mom is weird, but I don't know. She's just, she's my person. We didn't really get along when we lived together. We were definitely both too alpha for that. But working together, we barely even had to communicate, okay? We can tell each other and see what each other needed with just a look. So it, it was just so easy. We both made the most money when we worked with each other because hello, mother-daughter unit, you know, she'd be bartending, I'd be serving, or we would both go back and forth eventually to where I would bartend, like get my own, my own drinks and stuff, and she'd be taking care of her own customers, and it was just so smooth sailing. I loved it. I friggin' loved it. Yeah, our communication for it was just phenomenal. And I think that's what the bosses really liked is that we were a very cohesive unit. We got the best, you know, compliments when we worked together. We didn't have that weird, sometimes, sometimes people could get that weird, uh, this is my table, don't help me, this is my, you know, my customer, whatnot, we, we didn't work like that. We took care of everybody. Of course, we made our own tips and whatnot, 
but it was very much the teamwork aspect of if I saw someone sitting at her bar while she had to go to the restroom or she wanted to eat real quick, I did not mind hopping in and helping her and she wouldn't ever have to ask me to because we were able to communicate, like I said, with just a look. And I wish I had that communication skill with everybody. Those shifts that I worked with her were so easy and smooth selling. Like we could even pick like music and like we'd poke fun at each other sometimes when picking the music and you know, just put on some fun things, you know, things from my childhood and we'd have like that banter of talking about how I started working young and funny little anecdotal stories and the customers ate it up. It was seriously like the mother-daughter show. Ah, I can't rave about it enough. Have you ever worked with a parent? Like, let me know in the comments because I kind of want to know. Like, am I the only one that's, yes, I'll forever work with my mom. Mommy's girl for life. <laughs> we worked at multiple different places together like it's not just that one bar we worked at lodges together we worked at a couple other um bars together we also did a lot of volunteering like i said we did the elks lodge for a long time and they do a lot of volunteer work and that was one of my favorite moments because I would either end up serving and she would end up bartending with it, but then we would hype each other up and like come up with a game plan before to how to raise the money and do like, I don't know, like fun questionnaires and battles of the will wills and like, you know, throwing, I don't know, we've just made games. Like, I don't even know how to explain it, but we made games, we had tons of fun with the volunteering. And it kind of led to it, you know, our communication once again. We didn't have to really communicate. We knew what each other needed at that moment. And it really went well when it came to when are we gonna call the raffles or, or you know, how are we gonna hype the whole crowd up? You know, how are we gonna hype the band up? How are we going to entice their wants and needs to be able to provide this experience to them so they're willing to shill out cash for whatever cause we're doing, like raising for at the time. And I think those were some of the funnest times because we got to get real creative. And my mom is one of the most creative people I have ever met in my entire life. She, her ideas are sometimes a little wild. Like she'll do ice dunking machines and throwing pie, like just the juvenile stuff sometimes, like pie in people's face contests. Like you always have some of those regulars that you don't like. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Not that you don't like them, but you just don't rub elbows with them very well. You know what I mean? Just sometimes you don't vibe with certain people and you just, you get those regulars sometimes and those would be the ones going in the ice bucket or getting pie in their face. And then, you know, they would have to return the favor, you know, the favor, you know, just for like entertainment's sake. And most of the time, if you have a grumpy regular, they know they're the grumpy regular. Like there is no differentiating between that. Like everyone knows they know. So it's kind of like the inside joke to the establishment. I'm not saying we're picking on people. It just is what it is, okay? We're not bullying and being mean to regulars, but we are kind of at the same time and they know it, they, we know it. But yeah, it was just totally fun. I think we did like a, um, a, a kids clothes drive to where we came up with we did a fundraiser and we came up with a certain amount of money and then we got to work with a school and the kids that qualified for whatever they needed, we were able to take them to the mall. The mall was able to open up like two hours early and they each had their own individual cut of money that we had raised and we were able to get them new wardrobes and stuff like that, but we did set aside for each kid, this was my mom's idea again, for each kid to have a certain sum of money for a want. So it wasn't just what they needed because sometimes you don't, I don't know, especially for me, like I don't wanna just go shopping for what I need sometimes, especially if I don't have the option to or didn't have the option to, I'd wanna get something I just want. And that was some of the funnest part. So we were able to volunteer and take them all shopping and go and it was different age groups, so much Fun. And it was just how well we worked together and were able to brainstorm and, 
you know, find ways for this cause to do different things. And I don't know, like, I guess I'm just, I'm bragging my mom and hyping her up. She's, she's, she's my person and I will work with her a hundred percent again, five out of five stars. And like, this also goes into, you know, me loving and respecting her. I've seen her work hard as a single mom my entire life. Hell, I started working young because I respected and loved see knowing that my mom was able to work so hard to provide for me. She made it no secret. She, she, she taught me about money and had me learn to respect it. And I think that also falls into why I liked working with her so much. Um, I probably will do it again someday just for funsies, but uh, why aren't you popping in? Hello, just for funsies, just cause I enjoy it. She's working at another bar that is close to the first bar I worked at her with right now, just to kind of help them out. She likes to hop around. There's different regulars at different places. She always leaves on good standing when she's just ready to explore and see a new place. So she's working at another bar she's worked on and off at for the past 30 years, per usual. And yeah, so she's every once in a while like, hey, do you wanna guest, guest serve here or whatnot? And I might take her up on it one of these days. I mean, who doesn't like a couple extra few hundred bucks? And, and I love working with her. It's a good bonding fun moment. Still, she's one of the most independent people I know. Like she's definitely taught me that is you can be 100% independent and do what you need to do. She's never ever left anyone in need. She's never been in need. She's made sure I was properly taken care of and had anything and everything I needed. Even still to this day, like she's the most thoughtful person I know and I can only thank her for it. So yeah, I, I don't know. I needed this little palette cleanser and just talk about a good story about my mom because I had recorded a whip in opinion that got real deep and got emotional and made me angry. And I, I'm still thinking about it and needed a little, a little bit of that. I needed to go down reminiscent lane, remolent, remolent, reminiscent lane about some of my favorite moments and she makes me happy. So I think I'm gonna call her and say hi and tell her I miss her. And you should do the same. Call your, your family, anyone that's in your family that you have good memories with and just call them and talk about some of your favorite memories. It always feels good. Um, have a beautiful day. Thanks for listening. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.